All right, hello PWB. So now let's talk about our offensive attack. We're going to take a typical scenario where we've got uh, a two on two that ultimately becomes a three on two. So we can see we have our, our two um, opposing team defensemen and then our three forwards here. So remember that once we leave our zone, we get into the neutral zone, um, all the uh, we lose all of our designations as left winger, center, right winger, and we become F1, F2, F3. So what I mean by that is that F1 is the first person, first forward into the zone. F2 is going to be the second person into the zone. F3 is going to be the third person into the zone. And that's going to apply both for our offensive attack and even through our forecheck. So let's just, and we'll discuss and we're, what we're going to talk about is wide lane entry. Um, you can read the playbook, there's mid lane entries, uh, all the rest, but I just want to talk at a high level, the, um, our overall, um, concept of how we attack in the offensive zone, uh, use your creativity, read the playbook, playbook just gives you an, a, a subset of different options to take. Um, and you know, there's, there's many others that you could, you could try in a game, be creative, use that creativity and, and use your skill sets. So let's just talk about this wide lane entry. So we want F1 to come down the boards wide. Um, she's going to come down this way, right? And what's going to happen is that we're going to see, see X1 is either going to try and step up on her. And if she, if X1 does, F1 gets around, she's got a clear drive to the net. But what's most likely going to happen is that X1 here is just going to fall back and uh, Got to get X, the whole X1. We'll bring her back. She's a little bit misconstrued now, but X1 is here. So we want F2. When F2 comes in, sees F1 going wide like that, F2 can scream right to the to the post down here. So right away, what F2 is doing is uh, one of our four rules for an attack triangle is providing front side support. And at the same time, she's spreading out the D. So she's actually giving width and depth to our attack immediately. Okay, so she's spread that out. X2 is going to have to follow her down to that end. Okay, so now F1 actually right away has an option to F2 for a quick tip in. Okay, F3 is going to come up. She's what we call the trailer. She's going to come in this way. Okay, go high slot. And then all of a sudden now we've got our backside support for F F1. Okay, so that's our attack triangle. Pretty easy, right? There's our triangle, a perfectly aligned triangle. So we got our front, our front side support to F2, back side support to F3. Okay, and we've got width to F, F1 to F2, depth throughout the, uh, the whole triangle. Okay, so that's basically our offensive attack. Now, we also have to realize that F1, when F1 comes flying in, she may be ahead of the play. So now we need some timing, some speed and timing. So we need, if we come in with speed and we have to wait uh, for F2 or F3, the one quick thing is, is just to do a button hook, right? That button hook that we've been practicing, a quick button hook, turn around F2, that gives F2 and F3 time. Uh, X1 is not going to be able to react fast enough to actually take the puck off you on a button hook. So button hook around and then head up and have a look. Uh, the other option you have now, this is again, be creative. This is just one I'm thinking of off the top of my head is just to keep coming wide. Okay. So if you come down a little bit further, that gives F2 and F3 a bit more time to, to, uh, to get into the zone and, and create a triangle. So if you see F1, F1 down here, we need F2 to make sure that she goes in front of X, the X2, the defenseman. And not behind. Um, you need to you need to present yourself in a position where you can actually receive a pass. If you're behind the D, F1 is going to have a pretty hard time making that pass through to get it to F2. Okay, so you need to fight for position down low and make sure that we're in the uh, in the right spots in front of them. So we want to be between that that defenseman and our player with the puck. Okay, that's, uh, that's about it for our offensive attack. Um, now let's talk about, uh, we're gonna go over, I'm gonna flip the page, and we're gonna go over to uh, discussing our, um, our forecheck. So at times, let me just flip the page over. 
at times what we what we'll have is we're going to have um, um, uh, we're going to lose the, we're going to lose control of the puck or the puck is actually going to be dumped into the into the offensive zone and we need to forecheck. So what I want us to employ is a two one two forecheck, and we can either do um, an aggressive two one two or a conservative two one two. And I imagine the team listening to this, they probably know which one I want them to, to execute all the time. That would be the aggressive one. Um, so let's just talk about it. What we what I have here is is everything laid out, and I'm gonna say just pull these players back a bit so that we can actually see how they would enter the zone and with their correct uh, positioning. Okay, so basically, I just laid out the, the defensive team here. Um, so let's do a, a, a bit more of a structured approach when if they're, if they're playing a, a, a structure here. So we probably have something like that. Okay, and if the puck's, oh, if the puck's over here, sorry, we'd have this guy here and this player here. So it would be something like that. Okay, so now what we would want is F1. Again, she's the first one. She's the one closest to the puck. So it's I always want the, the person closest to the puck to initiate the attack. Second person comes in, you want her on top as well. Okay, so we want F1 to come down real low and, and engage that, and engage that uh, um, defenseman with the puck or player with the puck. F2 is going to come in. We want that battle. So if F2 comes in, if they're if if they're playing this uh, similar defensive positioning that we do, you're going to see uh, their center come in and provide relief or support. Uh, and then F3, we want F3 to come up a little bit high up in here somewhere so that she can actually look to see which way the play is going. So and we're going to have our D. Our D will be in our usual positioning, just like this. Okay, so F3 is going to be a little high. Um, F3 is going to be the one that needs to to, act, to react to which way the puck goes, okay? So basically, we've got F1, F2. Um, F2 can play up a little bit up here, a little bit down here, but I want two people in there battling for that puck, um, always on that puck. Okay, so now let's say X1 uh, or X4. Let's say X4 gets the puck and she starts coming around behind the net. So everything's going to shift. X, X3 is going to shift over here. Okay. The first thing we want is we want F3 skating. She's got to react and skate to X4. Okay. And then the closest, the closest girl to the, or the closest player to the puck, she needs to come over this way as well. And then F2 is going to assume where F3 is. So basically we, we just shift our 2-1, our 2 one two attack. Okay. Um, and so you can see where F3 now is the closest person to the puck. Um, so it's always closest drives to the puck. Don't worry about your, don't worry about your left wing, right wing, uh, center designation down there. We want to gain control of that puck and then get that puck back in front of the net. So we have an opportunity to score. All right. So now let's talk about the defenseman. So let's just put, we're going to put our players back the way it goes here. Okay. So we have F1, F2 here, and let's say the puck squirts up here, and D2 is going to come down here, and and what I would say jam her and pinch in on her and, and keep the puck alive in our in their end. F3 needs to come back and see that and just fill in for D2 while that's going on. Okay, so that third that third forward that's kind of playing a little bit high, she needs to be aware of the game and react to the game, attacking if the puck moves. To the other side or filling in for the D if uh, the D comes in and, and helps helps up the forwards and pinches down low. Okay that, that's kind of our safety valve here. We've got D1 back here as our as our uh, uh, last line of defense. F3 uh, if the puck comes up if they're battling on the boards puck squirts up F3 should be able to take this and step right in and have a shot as well. So if you look at the lanes they're all completely open. Um, that is it. I think uh, we've covered uh, our, our basic offensive attack going into uh, the attack triangle and our four check, ultimately trying to get, get that puck back and then move more into a, a triangle once we get in there. And forwards. Also, when we're in, our, when we're in, the, in the zone down here, 
don't forget that our defense are open a lot of the time. So when you get the puck, right? If you get the puck and there and it's a battle on the boards over here. If you're battling on the boards over here, the easiest way to still maintain control of the puck is just to pass it back to D2. We got now D2 has all kinds of options. She can pass to F3 for a nice shot in the, in the slot. She can take a shot on net and F1 can jump in. Okay, so use our D. If our D are open, let's use them, especially if you're engaged on the boards over here uh, with their winger. You know that there's not going to be anybody between yourself and our D. And our D is going to have a ton of time to actually put her head up and have a look and, and make a nice play, make a, an offensive play. All right, that's it. Keep your heads up and sticks on the ice.